Welcome back to another episode of Ellen Wake, played by Crazy of XTBH Productions. <laughs> Alright, we're left off here. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Didn't I already play this? Hmm. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I oh man, I did, it didn't save somehow, I guess. Wait. Are you? Wait. Because hey, I finished, I finished an uh, episode. No. Oh, no problem. Please. I'm gonna run the there real fast. I'm gonna skip this because I already showed. Previously on this. Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is! Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the Dark Presence before it attacked me. <clears throat> Episode 4, The Truth. Alan. Shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. I felt grind. <coughs> Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. So what am I supposed to do? Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. 
You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman the obviously one loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms enough. of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. <clears throat> Come along. Can I kill Let's this monkey? Oh wait, the gorilla is there. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> no. Emerson. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. <clears throat> We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of course, yeah. but yeah. it does involve I'll some small creative yeah. effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. No. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh. 
My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. But I kept it safe from these bastards. To hell? <clears throat> My head was... Zane could feel the poems, taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. I'm a bad dream, and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head, and the they're not there. You know who, you Jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. Something's wrong. I'll do that, Birch. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. <laughs> the white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Hammer's up! Here's a friendly poke from me all witch! Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now! Are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love wow, tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's no. goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's the office. He'd taken all my manuscript Tom. pages. See That's where he'd be keeping them. It's my store. I'm taking it. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Come out and face the music, Perch. It's time to face. Let me out of here. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to split! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! 
Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! Oops. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Just into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, <clears throat> listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. It's back. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Possessed bookshelves out of my way. Ouch. Oh, my God. That will do it. This is insane, man. Oh Where do I go? Guys, it's true. Came through the door, and it's coming from me. Holy crap! <laughs> Freaking door closed. I think I know what to do. Come get me, bitch. I found 
found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Holy crap. Where's the maze? Where do I go? Holy shit. Don't worry about the evil guys. Kill them. Man. Where do I go? Don't trust email. I'm gonna read the manuscript in a sec guys, but let's first get out of here. Where's the big guy? Where the hell did he go? There you are. Burn, motherfucker. Yeah. Like 
Mother. <laughs> Fucking ass. This guy isn't coming, so that's good. Where are they? Killed him? That's good. Oh my god. This guy is pretty hard infested. Infected with the darkness. Motherfucker! Alrighty! Killed the boss. Nice shotgun. Yeah. It's a huge garden, by the way. Son of my dog. Shit. 
motherfuckers. Die. Someone standing there. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... It was not my lucky day. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, fuck it. Boom. Cares about a quarter. Get the fuck out of here. I found it! I found it! No way, there's a twig. Here it is! Al, I found the key! Mother of God, oh my God. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. By far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here, it makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far <sighs> gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I lost my gun in the crash. 
Barry was nowhere to be seen. Guys, this will be the end of this episode. Um, hope you guys will check in at the next episode of Alan Wake. So, see you later, guys. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. See you guys later. Bye-bye.